than a thousand Israelis and Palestinians killed, thousands still missing, buildings in the Gaza Strip reduced to rubble. It's the deadliest escalation of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict in decades. On the 7th of October, Hamas fighters launched a surprise air, land and sea offensive. 5,000 rockets rained down on Israel from Gaza starting from 6.30 in the morning. And this was a cover for Hamas fighters who cut barbed wire fences and used boats and paragliders to breach Israeli territory. Hamas claimed it launched Operation Al-Aqsa Flood to put an end to Israel's crimes of occupation. The assault prompted Israel to declare a state of war and pummel Gaza with airstrikes that have only been intensifying. Prime Minister Netanyahu vowed to destroy Hamas's Gaza strongholds and turn them to dust. Tensions between Israel and Palestine did not happen overnight. They have been simmering for decades. The Israel-Palestine conflict began when Britain took control of Palestine after the Ottoman Empire was defeated in World War I. The tensions grew between 1920 and 1940, when Palestinian Arabs opposed the relocation of Jews in the area. In 1948, British rulers left the area, unable to control the conflicts, and created a catastrophe in Israel forcing Palestinians to flee. They fled to Gaza, the West Bank and neighboring Arab countries and the Palestine Liberation Organization was created in 1964. In 1967, Israel defeated Egypt, Jordan and Syria in a six-day war and claimed Jerusalem as its capital. The late 20th century witnessed the emergence of two intifadas or uprisings as responses to Israeli occupation. The first intifada was in 1987 and the second intifada raged between 2000 and 2005 after Ariel Sharon's visit to the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound. The Al-Aqsa Mosque is revered by both Muslims and Jews. In 2005, Israel unilaterally withdrew from the Gaza Strip. <laughs> Hamas stands for the Islamic Resistance Movement and is a Palestinian political and military organization established in 1987 during the First Intifada. It originated as an offshoot of the Muslim Brotherhood and has a dual agenda to govern the Gaza Strip and to pursue the liberation of Palestine through armed resistance. Hamas does not recognize Israel's statehood and remains firmly opposed to the Oslo Peace Accords. Instead, it envisions a Palestinian state within the 1967 borders and it employs violent means, such as attacks on Israeli soldiers, settlers and civilians, to achieve this goal. The United States, the European Union, Canada, Egypt and Japan designate Hamas as a terrorist organization due to its use of violence, including suicide bombings. But the date chosen by Hamas was just a day after the Yom Kippur War was started 50 years ago. The aim was to recapture territory taken by Israel during a brief conflict in 1967. Hamas has called on its fighters in the West Bank and the Arab and Islamic worlds to join the battle against Israel. Hamas appears to have close ties with Iran. It is often described as an extension of Iranian influence in the region. Iran has been a major supporter of Hamas, providing financial assistance and military hardware, especially missiles and drones. Iranian leaders, including Ayatollah Khomeini, have publicly expressed support for Hamas and its attacks against Israel. Hezbollah, another militant group linked to Iran, has been involved in the conflict. The group launched attacks in support of Hamas and opposed any normalization of relations between Israel and Arab states, particularly Saudi Arabia. What's clear is that war has returned to the Middle East. Israel's heightened airstrikes have triggered a humanitarian crisis in Gaza, with many people struggling to access basic necessities such as food and water. Palestinians in Gaza and the West Bank claim they are suffering due to Israeli actions such as blockade of Gaza, the construction of the West Bank barrier and the destruction of Palestinian homes. Israel has cited the right to defend itself as Palestinian militants carry out attacks on Israeli civilians. <laughs> 